Hi guys, so in today's lecture we will talk about tuberculosis. In tuberculosis we particularly talk about mild grade fever with evening rise. Why this evening rise? This evening rise is not because the bacteria becomes romantic in evening hours. This evening rise is in fact due to physiological variation of body temperature during morning and evening hours. In evening hours temperature is higher as compared to morning hours and this bacterial infection adds few degrees to already increase temperature during evening hours resulting into subjective feeling of fever particularly during the evening hours and apart from these constitutive symptoms patient also suffers from night sets weight loss lack of appetite etc okay so let's talk about tuberculosis in detail here you can again appreciate a consolidation patch over here towards the upper aspect of right lung in search of oxygen this bacteria moves towards the apex of lung okay so this might be also case of pulmonary tuberculosis but to confirm the diagnosis microbiological evidence is needed try to understand this person is having cough with sputum now you can use this sputum for sputum examination here you can appreciate chest x-ray pa view so this x-ray should be your first investigation in a patient presenting with cough for more than two weeks and that to productive cough okay so if a person is having cough with sputum for more than two weeks along with mild grade fever with evening rise as we have already discussed along with weight loss along with lack of appetite so you should investigate this person keeping in mind the possibility of tuberculosis and in tuberculosis as we have already discussed this mycobacterium tuberculosis is aerobic bacteria therefore it will move in those areas of lung where oxygen is in maximum amount therefore this will attack the apex and in apex it can form cavitatory lesion right due to destruction of the lung tissue and this particular structure is known as your pools lesion we have already discussed in this particular diagram you can appreciate presence of cavity over here but simply x-ray findings are not enough for the diagnosis of tuberculosis as this person is already having cough with sputum therefore you can use this sputum for microbiological evidence of tb that is for the detection of mycobacterium tuberculosis first by zn staining that is gel nensel staining and then by culture but nowadays we employ which test that is your cbnet that is cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test also known as gene expert test that is pcr based test that is polymerase chain reaction so having x-ray like this will increase the suspicion of mycobacterium tuberculosis